Welcome to the Paradise Falls Community Report. Today's weather, clear skies, calm waters, another perfect day in Paradise Falls. Can you be an angel and get your mother a cup of coffee, please? We're not so rich that we can afford to waste. Isn't it a bit early? In case you forgot, my friend was murdered. I didn't forget. I think I'm allowed to have a drink. So who do you think did it? How should I know? You know what kills me? Braga strutting around town like he's leading a parade. He never liked her. I know that for a fact. Things I know. You keep away from him. I'm gonna go. You know what? I don't want you seeing that Mansfield boy either. I'm serious. Yeah, I heard you. Common. That boy is common. Common as the dirt on the ground. I said it before. Listen to me. I tell you these things because I don't... Not because I want to hurt you. It's because I don't want you to be hurt. in early for this year's Trotta Polozza. Top prize is a complete fishing set donated by Fenmore Fine Fishing. When you want to find fish, look for the three Fs. And before I sign off, I have a special message for someone who I know is listening. See you soon. Buttercup. Rox, where are you going? Get away from me. It's not what you think. Nothing happened. You were naked. I wasn't naked. Look, I'm not stupid. If you're going to lie to me, at least come up with a good one. Where'd you get the video camera? I bought it. That That is the truth. You know, you talk me into taking money that doesn't even belong to us, and then you go and blow it on something stupid. <sighs> Would you just stop so we can talk about this, please? All right, fine. I'm listening. I'm sorry about the camera. That was Trisha's idea. That is so lame. And taking your clothes off, was that Trisha's idea too? She's always coming on to me. I just didn't want to tell you because you guys are tight. Oh, and when you just couldn't help yourself because she's so sexy. <laughs> You're the one who's sexy. Oh, please. Look, I didn't want to say this, but Trish is not a good friend. She's jealous of you because you and I are a thing. We're not a thing. You could be a thing. Mm. Hey, I brought donuts. Lemon and raspberry. Oh, none for me, thanks. Since when? So I had a date last night. You had a date last night? Sarah's only been dead for two days. Oh, I didn't mean any disrespect by that. God, am I the only one in this town that cares that Sarah was murdered? Oh, no, Franny, that's not fair. We all care. Well, it doesn't look that way. It's just, it's just a friend dropped into the store, just... Oh, let me guess. Tony Baroni. How did you know? Well, your dad was asking me, and I didn't think that he was going to set you up, though. He set me up? What? I mean, you, th you thought the guy was just going to step into your store out of the blue? Yes, that's what I thought. anymore. 
Give me a kiss. Hold up, think about it. Just one, I'll leave you alone. Far enough away. <laughs> Michael! I'm sorry, Roxy. Can I uh, talk to my son? Yeah. Say later, thing. Keep your shorts on. All right. You check those rentals? Are they in good condition? I haven't yet. Huh? Michael, why do you have to be so lazy? I asked you to do it two days ago. I'm gonna do it today. Either you do your job or I'll find somebody else who can. I said I would do it. I'll do it. Okay. You're supposed to be helping me out here. According to the medical report, at the time of her death, Mrs. Bragg weighed 125 pounds. So? She was bigger than that. I'd say 135, 140. Well, maybe she was on a diet. Maybe somebody stopped her from eating. Did you read the report? Before you came in. Her blood matches the blood found on the person. The coroner mentions a series of bruises around her neck. What do you make of that? She was strangled. Well, no shit, but by what? A chain, a knotted rope. No, the indentations are too small. But a good guess, Sherlock. You. I scared you, didn't I? Asshole. Did you get turned on? Come on, just just a little. Yeah, I really get turned on when some jerk off tries to strangle me. Back off. You've got a girlfriend, remember? Besides, she already hates you. You more than me. Figures. Did you hear about Sarah Braga? Please. It's the only thing that gives Paradise Dolls a little more edge. What's that? A key to rich people's cottages. Thought you and me could have some fun. What about Roxy? What about Roxy? Are you in? Let's go. <laughs> Roses for my Rosie. <laughs> so original. Didn't you hear my community report? I dedicated it to you. Am I some kind of joke to you? Rosie. Because if I am, it's a mean one. My father put you up to this, didn't he? Your father did call me. Poor sad Rose. And you the hero. Well, that's very nice of you. No, don't say that. I'm glad he called me. Because when I saw you again, I, I knew. There was something special between us. You, you, you have a little donut on your, on your... Is he paying you? Rosie, no! Oh, I'm not going out with you for money. Please. You, you mean so much more to me than that. Mrs. Bragger was seen in town on the 31st of last month and her body was found on the 21st of this month. According to the coroner, she's been dead for a week. So the question is, is where was she for those other two weeks? Huh? Any good dreams last night, Pamela? I'm sorry I told you about it. Oh, don't be, it was very entertaining. I'll have a burger and a side salad, and could you make that burger non-cremated, please? Fine with coffee, thanks. Is she married? No. Too bad she's a nut bar. Anybody alive in there? Hello? Bedroom's this way, if you want to see. <laughs> you wish. And the hot tub's out there. And maybe there's another dead body floating there. I thought I'd like to hear. Tell you what, why don't we try that? You had this whole thing planned, didn't you? <laughs> You're the one who picked this cottage. You're the one who walked us over here. Say, Trish, you want to go over there? <sighs> it's 
seamless. Oh, that stuff reeks. Don't sweat it. You can always wash it off in the hot tub. So when do we question the family? I already did the mayor, saw him last night. Where was I? Look, Detective Bradshaw, I know these people, and I can help you out with this case, but you have to tell me what you're doing. Point taken. So what did Pete Braga have to say? Paradise Falls is a tourist town. He thought she was off drinking, he wants to be kept in the loop, in fact, he insists on it. It was his daughter-in-law. Exactly. What, are you saying you think he's guilty? Hot tub's waiting. I can't find anything to wear. Well, don't wear anything. <laughs> right. Go on, I'll be there. Can I stand watch? Go away, little boy. I'm going, I'm going. Wait, I just gotta grab some in my duffel bag. This'll do. Go. Whole day planned. Lunch, compliments of Vinny's fine foods. How's your sandwich? Mm, it's very good. There's little bits of um, celery in the tuna salad. Mm, yes, Vinny's is very classy. Of course, when you're a radio personality, they always do that little bit extra. Mm. There's a lot of mosquitoes underneath here. Well, we don't want to get any sun. Mm. Wrinkles. Plus, people will see me and then we won't get any peace. Well, this afternoon, I thought we might go sailing. You have a sailboat? No, but I have a chum who rents canoes. He owes me a favor. I gave him a plug on a community report. Oh, canoeing. That sounds like fun. Hmm. These, these mosquitoes don't seem to be bothering you. Well, they wouldn't dare. Oh, it's a good burger. Rare. I knew you'd like it. I know your type. Oh, yeah? That's my type. Stubborn. Sarcastic. I'll bet you're a Taurus. All that from a burger, eh? I'm right, though, aren't I? You're full of negative energy. I think I'll trust my negative energy over your need to get attention. I only told you what I saw. Sarah Braga being chased by someone carrying beads. Beads. He never said that. What, what kind of beads? I don't know. Beads. Little things on a string. <laughs> Roxy would freak if she saw us. Oh, you're not going to tell her? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to tell her. She'd kill me. Probably sick her mother on you. That woman's a freak. You know, she'd cut your balls off if she could. You're kind of killing the mood here, okay? <laughs> uh, 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 um, you know, at death, they say you experience orgasm. I can think of better ways to blow a load. <laughs> You're moving too fast. Well, somebody might show up. Come on, we don't have much time. Well, yeah, it'll make it exciting. <laughs> No, just let me know when you want me to take over. I'll paddle us back. It's pretty isolated out here. Hmm, away from prying eyes. Do you really like me? We'll see. How can you say that? Well, it's just that everywhere we go is so out of the way. Like the picnic, and now this canoe. It's... If my father's forcing you to be with oh, me. It's not... You. It's me. When you're a celebrity, 
People always want a piece of you. Do me a favor, lend me some money, read this dog food commercial. That's why I like you. You want nothing. Oh, I, I, I want some things. <laughs> I know what you're after. You want some Tony Kisses. Two can play at that. <laughs> Maybe it's a murderer. Get dressed, it might be my dad. <laughs> Either way, you're dead. That's not fun. I think Bragger was involved in Sarah's murder. Why is that? Because he controlled her like a puppet. And he can't let anybody else kill her. I don't know. That's bad even for Bragger. Well, you don't know what he's capable of. Anyways, did you find anything incriminating? He keeps a gun in his top drawer. What kind of gun? I don't know, a gun. Interesting, but I, uh, I don't think Sarah was shot. Still, it's good to know. Yeah, I suppose. Are you ever going to tell me why you hate Pete so much? Do you care? Not really. I'm in it for the money. Yvonne, you find me one of Bragger's secrets and you'll get your money. He's got more than one corpse buried in the woods. Hey, you okay? Yeah, it's just my stomach. It's an ulcer. Come on, back to my place. I'll fix you a big drink and burn an even bigger hole in your stomach. Look, Pete, you're gonna be the death of me. Come on. You know, you shouldn't leave your door open like that. I didn't leave it open. Oh, my God. Doing. We'll call the police. No police. Sarah was just murdered. It could be the same lunatic that's running around. I know who it is. Please, I don't want the police. What? Are you in some kind of trouble? What the hell's going on? I could use a drink. Sorry about the canoe. Oh, no, that's okay. It was fun. Really? Yeah, except the getting wet part. Can I make it up to you? You don't have to. Look, Tony, I don't kid myself. I know, and I'm, I, I'm not beautiful. They call you Buttercup. Sweet little butter. Oh no, Tony, please. Please, please no singing. Though please. I can Shh. never Tony, Tony, suppose. No, 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 no. There's only one way to stop me. Tony kisses. <coughs> oh. Tomorrow night. It's just you and me. No water. You can't say no. I guess I can't. I conjure thee, O circle of power. In the name of the Lord and the Lady. As above, so below. This circle is sealed. Lord and Lady on this night, 
grace me with a second sight. Yvonne, what's happening? Nothing I can do to help you. I wish I could. It's my ex-boyfriend. What, he did this? Not him. Someone after him. Richard made a lot of bad investments. What the hell are they coming after you for? Because someone's got to pay and Richard's gone. I don't know where he is. How much does he owe? A lot. That's why I need the money you're going to give me. To get those pricks off my back. Call the police. They'll kill me if you do that. You're so good to me. You're so good to me. You'll give me the money, won't you? Won't you, Georgie? Won't you? Ah!